OK, so um, in this example, guys, whenever we're rewriting from whenever we're going from radical to rational, the main important thing is we have to know the root. And again, sometimes actually square roots are difficult but than others because we don't, have the two, we don't have that 2 written there because that's what, if we don't write a 2, if we don't have a number, we understand that's going to be the square root. So we can just make sure you always include a 2 in there to help you out. Now, basically what I can do is here is my um, base. That's the power, and that's the exponent. So using this rule, I can rewrite this as 64 to the 4 halves. I'm sorry. What am, I, what am I doing? 6a. Now, just make sure, though, when you do that, again, you use parentheses. It's not a to the 4 halves time, you know, times 6. Yes, Jasmine? So the 2, is the m, goes to your denominator as the rational exponent. And the 4 goes to your numerator. Oh, that's what you're at. I'm sorry. Yes? Yeah, it's not going to be 1 half because we have 4 divided by 2. It's going to be 6. It's just going to equal 2. But we still, that's still, even if you got that right, even if it was 1 half, we still want to go a little bit further. Okay? Yeah, I did 4 divided by 2, which just gave me 2. Now, I'm still not done, though. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I have a, um, a base raised to a power, and I can distribute this 2. So therefore, that's 6 squared times a squared. And obviously, I can simplify 6 squared, which is 36a squared. 